So for today, we're going to be looking at the Neo Muna armor. I finally got all the pieces. We're going to be looking at how it looks with for all the classes. We're going to be looking at how it shaders. And I do have two extra shaders for you guys. And that's pretty much it. We usually do the individual pieces of videos later because uh, I usually use a bunch of the pieces, at least for the Hunter. I use like almost every piece. The Titan, I use usually almost every piece. And then the Warlock, I usually only use four pieces and the bond is like the only thing they never use because usually it's never that great so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it uh yeah the, the channel has been blowing up i really appreciate y'all and just uh keep doing what you're doing and let's just get into it so to start off we're gonna be looking at the hunter titan and then warlock hunter i think looks really really cool i like a lot of the pieces i think the legs chest piece and even the arms to a certain extent are going to be super duper usable and i think the helmet is by far the best piece i can see myself using it in multiple sets i think the one weakness of this set is probably going to be the cloak actually um i'm just not the biggest fan of it i'm going to be real with you guys like it looks cool does it look cool for sure it looks cool but if i'm being quite honest i think the cloak should have just been like the bandana part, like the long piece, just going all the way down. I think that would have been cool. Granted, that would have been connected to the helmet. But then at that point, you guys could have given us like an invisible uh, cloak. So that way we can have the option of just not having a cloak at all. I think that would have been really cool. But yeah, overall, I think the Hunter has a lot of pieces that people are going to be using for a long time. Uh, same thing for the Titan, actually. Titan, the chest piece fucking rambo as hell it's super dope i will definitely see a lot of titans running that chest piece i think the boots are super dope as well a little bulky but that can be really good for certain pieces or certain sets i should say the one thing i'm kind of disappointed with is probably going to be the arms i don't like the arms granted they look super cool i just think what it is is the right side the shoulder pauldron and some of the pieces on the arm just kind of like, mm, I guess like a little bit like they, they probably could have designed it a little bit more different because it just, I don't know. It just kind of like doesn't look good. I'm not asking for symmetry because quite frankly, I don't think that would have been great. Um, you know what? It probably would have been super dope actually, but it's more so like maybe, maybe it's the fact that the pauldron and the like the shoulder piece uh are different like colors and not only they're they're not only different colors but they're also different like material as well so that's probably like my shtick about it the helmet i think is fine i think a lot of people are going to be using this helmet i personally don't really like it but i can see why people would like this it's cool i just think it looks weird in certain sets and then warlock i think has the best helmet in the game like for sure like they have the dopest helmet it's super, super cool. I think their chest piece is super dope. Oh my God. So we have, we have another piece that you can use if you want to go for like a militaristic or like just heavily outfitted warlock, because you could also use the, uh, the one from duality, the, uh, hockey chest piece. You can also use that or this one. So you can interchange a lot of the pieces from the hockey armor with this one, which is super dope. Uh, the arms, I think, uh, some people might call it boring. I think they're really cool, uh, especially if you want to go for like like bounty hunter type look because it's going to look really cool with that. I think the boots are also super usable. I'm definitely going to use this in some of my, some of my militaristic warlock looks. And then I think the bond is just kind of like disappointing, but to be fair, like I just expect that from that like from my warlocks. If I were to design that, I probably would not have put a USB cable on it. Like I just think that's fucking weird. Uh, I probably would have just put like a bunch of grenades on the actual bond itself. I think that would have been super dope or because this is, this is militaristic, uh, you could put like a blast shield or you could have just put the bandana, like an extra bandana there. Like that's, that's what kind of sucks about this set because you guys could have put a bandana and like the cloth hanging that would have been super dope. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I will not be going through too much explanation because I just went through all of it. Uh, I think a lot of the set looks really, really cool. As for our shaders, uh, this is going to be a new format. We're, we're going to be looking at the, the shaders like usual, but then at the end, I'll probably have the shaders going on with some music in the background so you guys don't fall asleep and then end the video. So that way you guys can still see without me explaining and you can just see the, the shader situation. So I like, I like what I'm seeing. A lot of colors are looking super dope. The only thing that I'm noticing that I'm kind of 
kind of gonna get annoyed i guess is the fact that the titans have different colorations for their boots uh specifically their actual shin guards and then the shoulder pauldrons that is quite unfortunate uh we'll see with the other shaders if it is that case but with ancient wisdom which is the new shader that we're showcasing from king's fall um yeah usually the main color will be the gold that the hunter and warlock are showcasing a lot more so that is quite unfortunate because even like the thigh armor pieces on the right side also has that different coloration as for echoed anger it is unfortunate that the off colors for the titans are pretty pretty in your face but everyone else looking really good i don't see a lot of like i don't see i don't see a lot of blue armor for the hunters which is probably a good thing because that means a lot of the main colors are just going to be the ones you expect aside from the like uh the throw throw blades whatever they're called uh those are different colors but that's not really that big a deal the warlock i don't see a lot if anything it's probably just on the boots that have that blue steel for Abyssinian and gold just do be aware that Abyssinian and gold will be gone after this raid i think the the new raid that's coming out this friday i will probably switch Abyssinian and gold for that shader unless it looks really really bad but that is the plan if it does look really bad then we'll just keep Abyssinian and gold because it is a good uh, indicator of uh which shaders are or, or what armor pieces are taking off colors which is the case for the titans as you guys can see from the boots and the shoulder pads uh they're black which means yeah they're taking the off color same thing for the warlocks for the their, for their boots not only that but i do think their shoulder pauldrons also take the off color so just be aware of that and then for the last shader we're going to be looking at cryptic insignia this is like one of my favorite shaders in the game i do want to get the flawless version so that way uh i get the other one because the other one is way better but yeah overall i really like how these pieces take shaders i think the hunter probably has the best shader um situation in my opinion just because a lot of the colors i was like yeah this is dope this is dope and to be quite honest the titan probably will give me the most stress just because it is taking a lot of off colors but even then like overall i'm i'm not i'm not disappointed i'm actually quite happy with the amount of pieces that take shaders in the, with these armor so let me know what you guys think in the comments below again this is not going to be too long of a video considering we're not looking at the individual pieces that will be coming out later probably next week if not in two weeks because i am running the raid which means i'm going to be super fucking tired and i'm also working a little bit more uh at my job right now so videos might they well they won't slow down because i'm going to try to make as much videos as i can this week before friday and even then after the raid, I still have like a few days after before I work. So thank you guys for following up to this point. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later.